Hello, my name is Richard Kent. Uh, today I want to talk to you about penguins, which are truly miraculous. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to Antarctica. I certainly haven't, but I actually feel cold even in England. But in Antarctica, the temperature goes down to minus 30 and the, and the wind is quite commonly 125 miles an hour. So the wind chill factor is actually uh, about m the equivalent of reducing the temperature about minus 70. Would I survive at minus 70 degrees centigrade? Answer, absolutely not. But penguins are perfectly happy. Uh, the temperature is actually minus 30, but the wind chill factor brings it down to minus 70 degrees centigrade. The question is, how do penguins do it? Well, penguins are very attractive little things. There's a reason for that, is um, they actually, their proportions are the golden or divine ratio. I'll be talking about the golden and divine ratios at a later programme. And certainly emperor, uh, all penguins, including emperor penguins, actually fit perfectly into the divine or golden ratio. But actually, penguins are actually quite stubby little things. Sometimes they're not so small, actually. The emperor penguins are quite tall. Um, so they've got 30% fat, and of course their fat actually protects them very well. Now, um, penguins, of course, are birds, but they don't fly. They have feathers that are specially adapted to keep them warm. Now, penguins actually get their food from the sea, so they're constantly uh, going in and out of the sea. Now, of course, you and I, when we come out of the sea, unless we dry ourselves very quickly, we get cold. Penguins don't, because uh, penguins have special feathers that are fluffy, uh, and throw off water almost instantly. Um, if you look at a penguin that's just come out of the water, they're virtually dry. In other words, they have water-resistant feathers, and as soon as they come out of the water, they fluff up their feathers and get a nice layer of air close to their bodies, like, a, like an eiderdown of warm air close to their bodies. Now, there are various parts of a penguin which uh, can lose heat, particularly their flippers and their feet. Now, you may not have seen too many penguins, but I'm quite sure you've seen lots of, lots of ducks and lots of seagulls standing on ice. And you may have wondered, now how on earth don't their feet get cold? That's a very good question. Well, God has thought of that. He's designed them specifically so that they don't lose heat through their flippers or their feet. And I'll tell you how it works. Basically, their feet, has, their feet and their flippers have very little flesh on them. And in those feet, there are tendons and blood vessels. Now, normally, if I were to put my foot on ice, I would lose heat through my foot very quickly. But there's a heat exchange mechanism called a reti mirabile um, at the top of the uh, uh, foot, so that the cold um, blood coming up from the, from the foot warms up the warm blood going down. So the only blood that's in contact with the ice is actually cold blood. So the penguin doesn't lose much uh, heat through the feet. Penguins have learned, when it's really cold, is to balance on their heels and on their tails. So they have hardly anything in contact with the ice at all. The other thing that penguins do is they huddle together in, well, they're called huddles. And the ones at the center get really, really hot. They get too hot. So they move to the outside and other ones take their place. Pen penguins are perfectly happy and maintain their temperature at 38 degrees centigrade, which is warmer than you and me. That's how God's designed them and it's miraculous. Thanks for listening and God bless you.